I'm John Holwick, Vice President with Loom Systems. Loom's mission is to improve your customer experience by predicting and preventing problems within your digital enterprise by using machine learning and artificial intelligence. This video is to tell you how it's done. Loom's two key differentiators versus other monitoring tools on the market are that Loom will find IT issues before they affect your customers, and Loom will tell you how to solve those issues. Loom is driven by an artificial intelligence engine called Sophie. Sophie operates in four steps. Her first step is to collect all of your data from the entire IT environment, that's applications down through your infrastructure and anything in between with network, database, etc., and ingest the logs from those sources and immediately understand what that data means. Now this is done through pattern recognition, something called lexical detection, and essentially what she is doing is she is decoding the language of your logs without needing to be told exactly what those logs mean. That's the first step. The second step that Sophie takes is to then build a baseline of normal behavior based on every data source and every data point within those logs at particular moments during the day, during the week, or during the month. This historical baseline is then compared to the data that's coming in at this particular moment in real time to be judged whether it's within the band of normal or whether it is deviating from normal and indicative of a problem. When Sophie sees that the data right now is different than the historical baseline, she knows to proactively alert you that you've got an issue within that data source. Her third step is then to correlate together anything else that may be happening in conjunction with that problem. It's very easy for her to do that because she, at step one, has broken down all of that data into individual data points that act as connectors. And then the fourth step is to provide a recommendation and an insight on how you can go about solving that problem without having to search for that resolution yourself. Now let's take a look within the system at a couple examples of these four steps as they play out in the product. And to look at the first step, we are going to go to the Add and Manage Data section of Loom. And when we click on data inputs, we see a button here that says plug in a new data input. And we can see that you can stream data from Linux servers, Windows servers, APIs, aggregators such as Splunk or Logstash if you have them, and many, many more as well. So we can stream from AWS S3 buckets, from databases, from FluentD, from Kafka, et cetera, et cetera. This process is designed to be very simple, it's wizard driven, and your focus is to send your data into Loom and then have Loom and Sophie do the rest. Once that data is in there, now Sophie goes about understanding what that data means and providing structure to it. So what we'll see on the screen right here is just a very simple example from Brocade, and here's a sample log line right here in gray, that Sophie is reading and following patterns to understand what each of the individual components of that log actually represent. So we can see that she's determined that just from some example log lines, this is what the application looks like, the service, the severity level, the timestamp, etc. She's parsed and structured any information that could be explicitly knowable from that data source in the logs. And she's done it without you needing to tell her exactly what it means. Now, if there's something else that she doesn't understand or it isn't explicit in the logs, of course, you can teach this to her so that she understands it and can apply it to the machine learning aspect of Loom. But this process is very simple, very uh, quick, and very easy for our customers to do. Now that that's done, let's look at an incident. And first we'll, we'll start with a simple incident, which illustrates the second step of building a baseline to detect a problem. And for this, we're gonna go to an incident within VMware ESXi. And we see this inbox on the left of proactive alerts that are being sent. In the middle is the information that's most relevant that Sophie has surfaced for you. 
And then right here is the graph indicating that deviation from the baseline and historical behavior. So when we click into the graph, we can see there's a yellow line which represents the baseline, and then there's a pink line which represents the data right now. And very clearly, in this case, we have a deviation. So what is being measured here is the word failed and how many times it appears in the logs per minute from VMware ESXi, the data source. And 792 is significantly different than 400 or so, which would be the baseline. That's triggering Sophie to tell you that you have a problem. And then we can see right below that there's a, an, an insight and a recommendation on how to solve it. But we'll wait to get to that step until we cover correlations first. For now, let's look at a slightly more complex problem. And this is one that's happening in an application. So it's sent to you uh, via my e-commerce app is the designation of, of where that problem is. But we can see that there's an application issue of user tra transactions that are not being completed. But it's correlated to a problem down below within the web server, so the Apache Tomcat, and also correlated to an issue in the load balancer. The way that Sophie knew to correlate these is shown very clearly within the product. When we click why are these correlated, we can see a breakdown of how this data is connected. We can see my e-commerce app, these three services are mapped together based on key value pairs. So a data center with the label of USDC2, also shown slightly differently because of a, a similar data structure, is location and site of primary. So these are the linkages down within the very data points within the logs that show that these issues are actually connected. And when we look back at the overall issue, we can now go to our fourth step after Sophie has correlated these issues. Again, she is telling you how to solve the problem. And this is where it is. We click insight. It says, seems like a bad configuration has been loaded, causing user transactions to fail. The action is to simply follow the configuration manual, which is linked right here, making it very easy for that frontline support rep to now have the expertise of a much more senior and specialized person and to solve this issue faster. So again, the process from the very beginning is to help you to understand that you have a problem before it affects your customers and then know how to solve it. And thank you very much for your attention in this video.